I greet everybody listening to me this morning. And I greet you to children. More than As you all know. People go out in the celestial church of Christ. On the, in the month of June, is the day we do children harvest round about the world. And uh, this is another opportunity for us to talk to ourselves about our children. About our home, what God gives us to manage up. Our the essence of this broadcast at this morning is to give you a better understanding of your children so that you can maximize this season in, the, in exploring the virtues that make a glorious destiny. Our we to ye a colour shade to ye, not Jackie as one Jackie are more on to the camo, Lori are more more I think be a shade of bones or let me muki or go at your more or the new motion. And this morning I shall be teaching on the topic children have blessings but not God. And we pay at the saw Lori on the penny. Ibukuni awo moje mo ki se eru It's my prayer that your eyes open to this to this morning in the name of Jesus Christ Oje adura mi pe odo yi si wani e si ohun ti a fe so lori lo ko Jesus Let's open our Bible to Psalm 127 and the guys pray for me verse 3 Four and five. Psalm one to seven. Verses three. Four and five. Verses three. Four and 
as arrows are in the hands of a mighty man, who are children of the youth. He is the man that has his quiver full of death. They shall not be ashamed when they shall speak with the enemies of the gates. Yes, I am only in your one. Amen. It means yoke. And in the modern day English, it means look here. Or pay attention to this. Because it is very, very important and crucial. Children are the heritage of the law. I want money in your room. According to the scripture. The word heritage also means inheritance of blessing. Inheritance or blessing. So, children are gifts from God. I want money to last your dollar and they are blessings to the family. One child can find a big account, and they are unique blend of their parents. One day, one child, you know, or be one girl, girl. So, children are given to us as part of our inheritance in Jesus Christ. In case you don't have them yet, see how what is the one. You can begin to envision them as part of your blessing and pride. Wow, what a thing! Wow, get that thing! Put it on me, and they are on their way already. What a thing! Wow, 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 wow! God has pronounced you fruitful. Oh Lord, you think by chance you be sick now? As long as you are a child of God, what did you pay? Oh my Lord, you are entitled to the blessings of children. Oh boy, you go and walk. Oh God, you change. No matter what the doctors have diagnosed, I'm being responsible for the delay. Oh, barrenage. God is greater than that report. Oh, no, no, God, you go, go in all the most on your God is greater than the report of the doctor. Oh, no, 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 let it back on to your Lord. I pray with you this morning. Your child is on the way. Amen. Oh, your child is on the way. Amen. Very, very soon. Like your child shall get with you. Amen. And by the time we are celebrating this month, this children have the next year. Yeah. You shall be celebrating this other with that those that your child or your children in the name of Jesus. Amen. So if we are reading the scripture again, the principle of that scripture says children are an heritage of the Lord. You understand that they belong to God. Who gives you the privilege? To oversee, to take care of, and to bring them up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. It's your Lord who put you on the earth. Let it put you to, let it touch you more, and till let it touch you more, you or no, or learn. Therefore, therefore, sorry, no. when you receive them, to overcome as the heritage, get meaning and blessings of God. Until you go learn, then God's purpose. For sending them to you, gotten manifested. So, send them to you as blessing, not as burdens. They are your heritage from God. Don't see them as burdens. They are your gifts. They are gifts being given to you by God Almighty. 
They are not body. What can share from this day? Let your little start seeing them as blessing. Not as body. They are God's heritage. One day in your laurel. You are only a caretaker. Oh, God gave them to you to nurture. Oh, no, to to mentor. Lati dari mo at the room. At the Latin go whatever. As many as are trusting God today for the fruit of one. I speak over your life this morning. That your desire will come to pass. In the name of Jesus Christ, your desire will come to pass. Where they would do love for more. the fruit of the womb. What theory of fellow day needs to read for you? I use the of water. Your desire. La theory of Monty, I beg you. Don't be able to carry your own child. I want to see you, she cut up your conjecture. Me, not your conjecture. Don't go to the report, not the doctor. What's the report from the doctor? Yes, I Just leave that aside. I hear what the Lord is saying to you. The plan of God for your life. Then you should carry your own baby. Don't want to give you your own baby. You are not going to go to your own baby. You are not going to go to your own baby. You are not going to go to your own baby. You are not going to go to your own baby. Ya <laughs> Please don't lose hope. Please come to the cross. Go to the top. Please don't lose hope. Go and cling on to the cross. Oh, children are the heritage of God. To inherit is to have possession. Ultimately, children are God's property. And we are caretakers. Now, God is the owner of those children. Give them to us. To, to take care. Oh, I want to touch you all. How does God expect us to do with his inheritance? But four of that chapter says that the children are like arrows in the hands of a mighty. What are arrows? The weapons of war. Arrows are weapons of war. So, what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to grow. You see, our responsibility is to grow them and show them the way of the Lord. Let in such a way that they will become mighty arrows, mighty arrows that will stand and defend them. An unsharpened arrow is uh, of a little use to the hunters. But when it is sharp, 
The answer you sees it with joy. Cannot work for the answer. We mother not be one ni offer ni a word like that. And the Bible will come with them as arrow in the case of the mighty man. Yeah, the way I go to a third one. That is to tell you we must take care of them. I go to a third one that they are going to move. We must shuffle them for them to be sharp. Ni a jewel no long. So we are the alive, but Christian. Because we are mighty in the Christ. So I want you to offer, Lord, what? The Christian. They are arrows in our hands in the Lord Jesus. So what? 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 You offer what? They are based on turn on to us. Baba, me when you walk to Bani, Katama, we defend our. When we act, we act of belief, and we act of faith, and use to defend our. Sorry, you want be a. Don't see them as a body. Marry your man, mom dear. Don't see your child and your children as body. Marry your man, be only one. Don't see your child and your children as trouble someone. Mama, I'm sorry, but I don't want my identity to me. You stop telling that I'm tired of those children. Mama, so bad, mama. Stop mommy. telling that, mommy. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, I hear so from mommy, mama, but to my ear, why why be to my comment below? Don't Again, one time comes, you will know where to take your children to. Because if you have no children in your life, you are a man without an arrow. Mommy, mommy, you suffer that in my way to buy ya a ya or my not that you will not see that. He goes down that the life of the children will become what the life of your father has become. Remember, you about someone, I want to be a lad, but I feel you are following. Bible one of one a child of God. Your children are arrows in your hand. I want to of to 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 Protect you when the work out. Timba to your Lord, that a bit of Dani. Lala, you know, I'm a dube, Mori, Kanti, Mafita. When a warrior or an officer comes to the Arab without seeing any battle, they will be happy that they see a weapon to fight with. But of Fatiko, but unsharpened, it's like an untrained child. What I put so. They are of little on children. They are of little use to the kingdom of God. So, of children Oh, sin kaka to wulo fun. In fact, papa wulo gan ko ni wulo to ka lo wa lagara. I am talking about the unsharpened arrow that it is not going to be useful at all. Even if it's going to be useful, it's just going to be a minute issue. Shuma ele ni to mu to ati sharpen, to ati kon le nu to ti mu to ko ni yara, 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 yara. O gan gan lo duro bi o icha lo wa lagara. But the one that has been sharpened Glitching and shining is the one that is joyful in the hand of the mighty man. So, children and the arrow will refuse to sharpen. And it's going to be a thing of disgrace to the mighty man. When I'm talking about untrained one, I am talking about the one who refuses to train in the way of church. Only top many universities. Yes, you may train them. To invest in a book. To go abroad to study. But if you refuse to train them in the work of the Lord, they are still referred to as untrained children. And they will bring disgrace to you and to your generation in the future. What do you think about I you know, your children? Untrained children are uh, of Little use, if at all, to the kingdom of God. 
ni wo ka to aspect or guidance to have a responsibility to train them in the ways of the Lord. So, when you do so, they will show forth the praise of God. So, I was still talking about ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้ก็ไม่ได้
children in the name of Jesus Christ so, so Sharia woman, no man determine both she might do it. The way you see your children, you will determine how you are going to profit within them. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter twenty-three, verse number seven. When you must have gone in way or way, only care that any of you as a kid that for as he thinketh in his heart, so he is. He don't be a healthy only of our that he only. So. Obodo ye ma ro lo kan pe awon omo yen ibuku ni won je fun e mo ki se wahala you want the able to be thinking will be you that these children are blessings and not burden unto you if you open your bible to jeremiah chapter number 1 go back to be the thing where we read jeremiah only kini verse 11 and 12 and they go kan la ati keji la to perish we must obey moreover the word of the lord came unto me saying jeremiah what seest thou and I say, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou art well seen, for I will extend my word to perform it. I will extend my word to perform it. All right, let's go. We want to Jeremiah, kill him, worry. If you see me, pray, more of my almond tree. All right, let's go. We want to 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 go. We there are quite a number of parents who see their children as burdens. When the children do something wrong, instead of them standing up to their responsibilities, they look at that child as difficult and troublesome. Honey, is a very troublesome child. Very, very hard. Please don't call your child a troublesome one. Don't call your child a hard child again. Call him or her a blessing. God called them blessing. Heritage Lua Puruko. Oguini, that is the name given today. Olamu Pemulamalili. God did not call them a hard one. What whatever you call them, so they will be. Otobati Pemulamalili. What whatever you call them, so they will be. When you see a child as a burden in your life, that child will truly be. A body to you. Oh, my dear, who are to talk? See them, ring one, and look them with your spiritual eyes as blessings of the Lord. Whoa, whoa, what do I do? Do I see anyone with that? If you put one of the last one, the real of my life. Whenever you see your child or your child, only for two of me, or you are seeing their picture, my ring one, be put not to be there. As a blessing from God. Proverbs chapter 10, oh, where verse you are? 22 says, and the blessings of the Lord, it maketh rich, and it added no sorrow with it. <laughs> so, God does not want to bring sorrow to your life through your children. Oh, no. God did not give you these children so that they become sorrow to you. God did not give you children so that you will not have rest. So, marry your mother in law, may be your money. Don't see any of your child, children as a troublesome. There's a message for parents this year. Don't see any one of them as a very proud child. And can he someone Someone will say, hey, child is so cruel. Oh, man, we need German soccer. Ah, me not going to do. But if you feel as it is, but they are going to try it. Please, it is your responsibility to train them, to tutor them, to mentor them on the ways of the Lord. Never say. Again, I am going to leave this child. I have tried my own best, though, if my best is not enough. Joe, read our money. You don't need to show our last tomorrow, last tomorrow, and last tomorrow on our Lord. So, 
If God says that your child or your children are a blessing, then He will make His word good in your life. I'm not saying that children will not behave somehow. But whatever you might have been experiencing in the life of your child. I pray that the power of God will reach those children. Amen. No matter how troublesome they are, God will turn their life around for good in Jesus. Amen. So, God of money. This is what you must know. Every old and the children refuse to become blessing. I go to the verse 5 of that Psalm 127 song. Here, yeah, what well, verse 5 of Psalm 127 says? It says, What's up, Happy is the man that acts, is quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gates. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Whatever you might have been experiencing through your children, if your children are blessings to you, you will not have sorrow over them. Because the spice that they are adding to your family will not turn sore. In the name of Jesus, they are, they are your blessing. They are not your body. And this blessing will not give me. And if they are in any other way, they will be contributing new sounds to your life. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus Christ that the mighty power hand of God will come over them in Jesus. Amen. Every unactedness in your children shall give way this morning in Jesus. Amen. God will make them blessings for you. All cause you to rejoice over them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Great shall be your peace. Amen. You shall not meet ever in Jesus. Amen. So I beg you. Always see your children as products of grace, which is only available to the redeemed of the Lord. Yeah. And lastly, before I go, parents, listen very well. You have one big responsibility. And that responsibility is you must give your children back to God. It is your responsibility. If God gave you so that you can train them in the way of the Lord. Don't forget that they are precious gifts from the Lord. And they, belong, and they belong ultimately and always to God first, not to you. So, Oh yeah, Let them listen to God before listening to you. Mm -hmm. They are God. You are just taking care of them for the Lord. A lot of parents prefer for their children to obey them. Please, God, write it down. Release. The ownership of your children to God. That belongs to God. Not you. Remember that God is responsible for the way in which they were designed. And this thing. 
for the way in which they were designed. And God has already known the plan and purpose for their future. Oh, no, 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 but your own is to show them the way. Let me say this this morning. God has been asking us to put many things on his altar. And you'll be doing it. I appreciate. But it remains one thing. She is asking every one of us who are parents to bring our children and put them on the altar. We may not put our mother on the altar. We don't let them. They can become blessing to us. Let me give you some biblical example. Our parents. Who brought their children to God and gave them back to God? Number one, is that of Anna. Oh no, Anna. Bringing our son Samuel and presenting him to God. Bringing our son Samuel and presenting him to God. Handing over young Samuel to Eli the priest. Oh, Samuel no more. Follow what all the father holy here in the world. Number two, Elijah. So you know you have a big task to do. Don't forget Joseph and Mary. They brought the infant child, Jesus, to the temple, following his circumcision at eight days. But I want to pick this example now before we go. Example of, pay, of a parent surrendering his child to God. The example I want to use now is about the Abraham offering our seek on Mount Moria. He took his son everything for his sacrifice at Mount Moria. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. Genesis 22. On your hold, we start reading from verse. But it's 1 to 13. Let me explain because of time. Abraham literally, totally, irrecoverably gave Isaac back to God. Abraham, when you look on it, that is she, is that he come on the phone, but that part of life, she knows, life for you. Abraham loved Isaac. In verse 2, God said, Take your son, your only son, whom you love, and sacrifice him for me. Don't forget that Isaac had been a miracle boy. He was born when Sarah was 90 years and Abraham was 100 years of age. He was born when, you see, when God destroyed the medical protocol. I want to this is where I'm going this morning. Abraham took Isaac. Got to Mount Moria. And he tied him to the altar. And he surrendered him back. He brought him to that altar. He tied him to that altar. And he released him. And God 
you are the owner. I am just a caretaker. But so I have tied him on the altar. Oh, as you have required from me. Spiritually, that's all God wants you to use Kodani, to do Kodani your children. To give those children back to God. No, give them back. Show them God. Show them the way of God. Make sure they accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Not for you to take them to the church and tie them at the altar, but let me tell something. Refuse to return anything back to God. The promise of anything will not have come to pass. But because it surrendered in heart and then completely to God, that is the reason. He was dead more than his own generation. Isaac would have lived and died in obscurity. He has in fact of the day, he had to live to bullshit. He would have died in no match. So I think we sit down and died in no body. So I couldn't change that guy. And it mean he was not brought back to God. Because Abraham obeyed God. And get Isaac back to God. I think receive the goodness of God's best plan and promise for his life. He became the false father of God's own son, Lord Jesus Christ. I think life is still having an impact and bless and still blessing millions of people worldwide today through his offspring, Jesus Christ. Let us learn from Father Abraham. Daddy, Baba, learn from Abraham. Learn from Abraham. If we refuse to give our children back to God, if we fail to give our children back to God, we may as well be forfeiting God's best plan and purpose for their life. But when you entrust our children back to God, we secure them the covenant of God's best purpose and plan for their life. But it does for you. If we don't return them back to God, their glory will never speak. You sit there and let me. Yeah, it's like Truly, they went to university. Yeah, they went to PhD. Truly, they are PhD. But their glory did not speak. Yes, what can we carry? You know, you both must die. Oh, go on, sir. Yeah, truly, they study abroad. Yeah, their glory does not speak. Go me a bia mo. Be not going in sacrifice and sorrow. You know you have come. The glory of Jesus speaking. Oh, go me and sorrow. Me not going to do. No, no, go crazy. No, no, go me and sorrow. Me not going to do. Stand here and ask him for it. No, no, go me and sorrow. Me not going to do. She be a big idea. Amara. Yeah, the diablo am not going to do. No, 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 Mommy, Oh, my God. 
All the parents that are here to know Christ. You're just going to church. You don't have Christ. You just go to observe others. You have no Christ in you. You are the chairman of the church. You don't have Christ in you. You are chairman in the church. You are doing the yard in the church. You are all over the places. But you don't have Christ. Today. I pray for you, the Spirit of God, that will make you to have Christ. I mean, I mean, the Spirit of repentance, the Spirit of repentance, that will make you to change from your bad ways you are trending. Because a lot of parents, they, the way they train, that is the way they are trained for they are trending in the They forget that the children do not see them. But the greater of those children they saw you. That is the reason they were well at the end. Or from today, and for the only of the latter. Because you have a spirit of revenge. A man, hello. And he just too. Because you are ready today. You have a mistaken God for forgiveness. That mistaken God for give me every of the journey I ought not to have taken and have taken. And because you are mistaken God. I know now you are now a child of God. I know now what is your mother. He loves you. He loves you, and he will never leave you. Please, as parents, read your Bible daily. Obey the word of the Lord. And fellowship with Bible believing people. Let me tell you something. Sele is not a clubhouse. Sele we are out of there. We are we worship God and, and listen to what they And we follow the doctrine of the church. Nothing there. So it's not a club house. So take what they love between the people in the big club house. If your church does not change, you please change your church. See, George, you buy your father. See, George, you know. You put on JB. You put on JB. You put on JB. You put on JB. 
So I be parish to law. If the parish you are going to reject you, instead of you seeing Christ, I lead you to long call of faith. You are learning the style of faith today. That they pick me. The legend is not the legend of Christ. For the I go and need to carry your money. I pray for you. 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 Jesus Christ, Olu Awa. Ha, me, ha, me, ha, me, lo, conchus. Akwa Ju. We greet everyone. Akwa Ju. We salute you. Happy Jubena. O koi, bukui, kore, ajeti de lego. Ha, me, lo, conchus. Hallelujah, me, Jesus, Olu Awa. Ha, 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 